Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Inscription Casey's Mod 1 Challenge Level 9. Got no new starter deck. How about I go with this one? Haven't seen this one in a while. I did get a new challenge, which is the weak start. So cards in the starting deck will have one less health, which should matter for my starting deck. I think there were multiple things that had more than one HP. And with that in mind, I'll take that in the same challenges as last time and hope that I can beat it with all this. I mean, I'm still doing the one candle challenge. I'm still doing the harder battles. And now everything has one less HP. Well, that's great. Absolutely wonderful. Well, let's see how this pans out. Because I've not used this deck in a while. i got to remember what I really want to accomplish with the deck. So this is a bone creation card. It gives four bones so I can play weak alpha, which now buffs adjacent creatures. I have the weak warren, which creates a rabbit in my hand. So the warren's basically a double sacrifice. So there's a lot to like there. Um, I could go field mice. Well, let's be smart. Elk fawn is easily the best creature to start with. Man, I kind of hate them getting railroaded into fecundity. So maybe I'll take it and make a challenge to myself or just a promise to myself. I will not allow myself to put fecundity on a zero cost unit. Let's go to a campfire. Try to make up for some of the HP I lost. Because if I put fecundity on a zero cost unit, we know exactly how that run's going to go. And it's not really interesting to me. Because obviously it's very powerful. We all know that. So... What do I want to do here? I'm going to put that on my Elk Fawn. I would like for it to not have uh, 1 HP in the very beginning. I'm not going to sacrifice it again or give it another shot. There's a chance it dies and I need my Elk Fawn. But now the Elk Fawn can take a small beating before leveling up, which is awesome for its versatility. So let's see. Two Elk Fawns and a Rabbit? Yeah, I'll get down Elk Fawn first. Get you right here. And then, yeah, next turn's the field mouse. So the field mouse is my infinite value. And the warren will just kind of help in regards to that. Uh, just allowing me to get it, get it out more easily. So weak warren. Put down the rabbit. And field mice time. Kill off both of his elk fawns. Get it back in my hand. And probably never play it again because it's very expensive. Well, but I can dream. Actually, it looks like I will get a chance. Perfect. One last field mouse for the road. A little extra damage, although I've been playing in this way where the extra damage really doesn't matter. Because let's be real, going to the trapper is more often than not bad for me. Maybe it's not bad for you, but it's bad for my style of play. Oh, magpie is awesome. What a fantastic sigil. Yeah, I'll take that. Now I have two great sigils to sacrifice, both magpie and fecundity. Now, if I want to sacrifice, I got to go to the trapper. Damn it. So with that in mind, I think I'm going to gonna go campfire strats. Mostly so I can avoid the trapper. Just don't want a freaking thing, bad thing in my deck. Don't want it. Extra power. Might be good with field mice. Could be good with elk fawn. There's a lot of good options here. So honestly, why not buff up my Elk Fawn further? Further having to be a 2-3 to begin with is awesome. And then it becomes a 3, what, 6? It becomes very powerful once it levels up. So let's just let that ride. Maybe a 3-5. Regardless, his Elks will hop in front of my units when they attack. Good to know. Yeah, here's how I'm going to play this one. Squirrel into Weak Warren into magpie into elk fawn you know the only good unit in my deck into a little bit of damage i'll put the elk fawn here the rabbit's just kind of weird because i want to kill both of his elk fawns before the level up but unless if i draw a squirrel right now it's not gonna happen do i want to do that get out the field mice do i need it so i kill this he'll deal two and then I'll move in front of the rabbit. And then he'll do another two. So that's a swing of four? I think there's a lot of risk to take. I think I'm actually going to draw the squirrel right now. Pick off his elf, elk fawn. Because he gets a lot of free damage on me. I, maybe not a lot, but at least a little bit. That I don't really want to deal with right now. 
by the lack of summoning units, it looks like this was a mistake. But uh, I kind of expected more units to be summoned. Uh, there's been plenty of games where they've been like, yep, we're just going to keep throwing three units at you. Keep it going. I guess it's too early for that to be the case. Right, next campfire coming up. Now, let's see. I need a one cost or something cheap. This is expensive. Can't swing it. Cat's really good, actually. Cat could enable at least most of my two cost sacrifices. And it's the only thing here that costs one. I see a good future for my cat. A lot of campfires coming up. I'm really just pushing this campfire strat. Unless if I want to, like, try to yeet something from my deck. Like the Rat King. Rat King is probably the weakest unit I have right now. You know what? I think it is time. I'm going to double buff Rat King. It's good either way as a 2-5 or as gone. Because I have a ton of 2 costs in my deck. So I really don't hate either outcome. Sure, I miss out on the 4 bones. But then I keep the bones anyway. And the alpha hasn't even been played once. So I don't mind it. Oh good. And I'll get a sacrificial altar in the future. All right, so his elks hide during my turn. That is not good. I have no choice but to pass this turn. How unfortunate. Alright. This turn, I will now draw a squirrel. And if I get out the magpie, it's going to be magpie weak alpha combo. Yeah, let's go magpie first. Just set you down. I do want probably the elk fawn. Yeah, the cat. It's too late for that to work. Yeah, Elk Fawn. And then... I believe I need to play like this. Elk Fawn here. Bones. Into weak alpha here. So, the point is I deal three damage without the mole blocking. And then the mole blocks his Elk Fawn. Which seems well worth it to me. And now I have a regular ass elk. So, all seems good there. And you know, I might as well get down this squirrel just to deal an extra damage to his mole. It, the mole's still going to end up in a favorable spot for me. I just might as well. And yeah, then I can handle the two damage a little better. And things are looking fairly good. I should be winning this one quite handily. Not right away, unfortunately. Because I will go squirrel into field mice. Damn shame the... <laughs> The mole's going to block the 3 damage and not the 1 damage, but it doesn't really matter. I'll lose out my weak alpha, but I think I'll have enough damage to get him next turn. So there we go. Should be, yeah, final turn coming up. Let's just draw for my deck. Doesn't really do too much. Fair enough. I like where this is going right now. This is certainly viable. Let's see what I get from the prospector. This could be awfully bad. I don't know, man. I'm not quite sure if I want this golden pelt or whatever random card I'm getting. I got gold. I don't... It might be fine. I mean, a rare card down the line is good, but it's going to be a while till that happens. Once again, I'm just neglecting the totem. I know it's a weird way to play the game, but I kind of like it so far. Plus, uh, enhancing power can be awfully good. I was actually hoping for health so I could put on my weak alpha. I am going to put the power on the weak alpha. Just one, I think. Because it's my only bone creature. I don't want to lose it for my deck. And an extra damage on it is quite fine. It, it was a perfectly good unit to begin with. And now the sacrificial altar. So this is going to be the core of my deck. I am going to do a fecundity sacrifice. But I promised myself no zero costs and no infinite sacrifice gambits or whatever with the weak warren i'm just gonna do a relatively fair fecundity sacrifice at least in my eyes so it's gonna go in the elk fawn which admittedly is my strongest unit in my deck but it's not an auto win it's just very good hopefully even this meager sacrifice does not completely make the run just one-dimensional and boring i'm hoping that it can still remain interesting because let's be real, when fecundity comes up, there's so many ways to just break the run. I'm sure it's going to be balanced in the future. I'm trying to brainstorm ideas of how to balance fecundity. Because obviously the game mode is going to want to be balanced. And just having it be rare is not balanced because if you get it out, it's still insane. And how do I want to begin this one? Yeah, blocking golden pelt, save up for magpie. 
Let's put it here. Save me some damage, and yeah. Next turn, squirrel, and then I'll be cooking. Squirrel, squirrel, magpie into elk fawn with fecundity. So get that right here and start killing and moving. That's the name of the game. Two damage and get over. And there we go. I'm probably not losing this game. It seems very unlikely because I can just keep drawing squirrels and going elk fawns. And you know, this is actually very broken. <laughs> Still. Yeah, there's not much to do about that. I mean, at least I'll have stuff that dies to the trap, but whatever. Uh, speaking of things dying to traps, I might as well get down another elk fawn. Just keep this chain going. Oh, I could have even gotten down the alpha this turn. Well, uh, food for thought. Not a big deal. Just let the things keep dying for all I care. Let's get the alpha down now. <laughs> <laughs> As both my elks will die to the trap. Well, that's fine. I can just get the other elk fawn over here. Like, these elks are so expendable. It doesn't matter. They're just infinite amount of them. Good god. Yeah, and I have enough pelts to just completely end the game right now. So, what am I gonna take? I mean, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna play a damn elk fawn. Just... Give me that front row. Oh, another elk fawn. I mean, I'll play my own. I prefer mine. But yours is cool, too. And GG. Yeah, this is still very strong. And this isn't even with the zero cost. This is with the one cost. Yeah, so my biggest idea for fecundity was to have it be non-transferable. Admittedly, it's not fun. But it's a bit more balanced. <laughs> uh, hey, look, more fecundity. Oh, this game really just wants me to do stupid stuff. It sucks, too, because the other cards blow. I have no choice. Like, the other, the other cards just don't work. I gotta go field mice. Maybe there... an idea. Another idea I had is that with fecundity, when you get the free card back into your hand... Maybe that new card won't have fecundity. Maybe that's equally fun and still fair. Or at least more fair. It's probably still very good, but more fair. I, I definitely like that idea more than the non-transferable, because shutting that down is admittedly lame. Like, I understand that completely. Let's go corpse maggots. Oh, I should consider raccoon, but I don't have a bone-heavy deck. Another day, I'll do a bone-heavy deck. But this is the starter deck to go bone-heavy. And I just didn't do it. Uh, yeah, Squirrel's the best for sure. So I think that one would be interesting. Let's get my Elk Fawn all the way on the left. I don't want them to hit the stump anytime soon. And their units are going to be no match to my Elks. I should have enough power to just keep going with this. And yeah, the weak alpha isn't getting played that soon. Ooh, Mantis. A little bit of action there. Uh, but it still doesn't matter. Still just going elk fawn. Just sacrificing squirrels and elk fawning it up. Fantastic. Very fun and interactive game we have here. <laughs> what a what a time. What a time to be alive. Alright, and one last for the road. A final elk fawn. Thing is, uh, maybe there was a way I could have just not done this. Maybe. But my other options were so bad. Hmm, this is tough. I've got two trials. And a pack. The pack's not useful to me. And honestly, I don't really care about pack rat. Or I could do the altar. I think I want the altar so I can put magpie on something better. Another corpse maggots is always good. Or I could go dire wolf pup for the first time ever. But let's be real. Corpse maggots is the better card. And honestly, I have had the dire wolf happen. So it's not even that new and exciting to me. I'll take the good card. It seems reasonable. And, oh, yeah, surprise, my college is coming up. Good timing on that. 
Yeah, let's get Magpie over to, I think, Weak Warren makes sense. Because Weak Warren's a double sacrifice. It'd be nice to choose whatever the hell I want kind of card um, once I play Weak Warren. Now, granted, no, it was not going to go the other way. I was not going to swap around. This one costs one. For a second, I thought I had an order issue. Okay, so it is Reptile's move after attacking. Uh-oh, I have no playable units. Oh, but I still have good plays. I'm going to put Golden Pelt down right here. It's going to die to the Rattler, and then I'll get Corpse Maggot, so that's perfectly fine. Eh, nothing to hate. This is still a scary match, though. No denying that. And having the Rattler move is not great. Uh, I did get my weak Warren. Okay, that's good. Also, it has flight. What an incredible, incredible sacrifice. Or incredible thing to have. Well, obviously, I'm going to take the good card in my deck. The Elk Fawn. And I'll put Elk Fawn here so it can kill off both of his assholes. And then... Well, I guess I can get another Elk Fawn, can't I? Why don't I do that? Well, this will be a good uh, change in the tides. Seems quite good. Yeah, taking one damage. I think you're a little slow there. Good try. Come back another day. And we all know it's pretty much over now. I have an unstoppable wall of Elk Fawns. And I have a backup with Bones. GG. Well, at least I can speedrun this. <laughs> That's uh, the nice benefit. It's a relatively fast and painless win. Oh, who? Between these, I'll take a beehive. You know, I could go fecundity beehive if I wanted to in the future. Just for bees. And uh, it's, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> Not exactly intended to be extremely powerful. It's just the thing I could do. We'll go for a 2 4 Corpse Maggots. Obviously, very useful addition. Getting that card down for free is awesome. More campfires up ahead. I love that. Okay, so I saw there's a pack in the future. Well, first, I will get down the Golden Pelt. Block is Coyote. And I guess I'm just taking two no matter what. I might end up using either the Fish Hook or the Pliers this round, so that counts for something. I'm about to take three straight up. So, good thing I got the Elk Fawn. Very handy. Oh, cat with Elk Fawn's kind of disgusting. Huh. Didn't think about that. Well, now I have. Yeah, this is absolutely gross. What happened to my deck? Do I get a bone for that? No, that's the one relatively saving grace. Okay, so... Never mind, cat... There's actually so much that makes Fecundity broken. Damn it, you, you can't pick this and still have a reasonable match. It's not possible. It's always going to be busted. Damn it. I'll draw from here, I guess. A little beehive, sure. Anyways, we know I'm playing Elk Fawn. It is pretty much impossible to have a fair game featuring fecundity. Man. Well... I'll just ride it out, take the win, accept it. That's life. Sometimes you just win despite your best attempts. And I didn't even get to use an item, so I guess I'm getting a pack rat. That is how I'll probably end up losing in one way or another. Uh, between these. Yeah, I'll take my little possum, why not? Alright, time for the pack rat. It's fine... You know, I mean, it is a great sigil. It's just another awesome thing to sacrifice. Maybe I'll sacrifice it before I sacrifice the fecundity to something. Alright, plus two health. Let's see, what needs health the most? It could just be Beehive. Let's put it on Beehive. Either a 0-6 or have it be gone from my deck. Both are good. Goodbye. Yeah, Beehive I have no real attachment to. Obviously, it's not the point of my deck. Angler? I mean, how could it be a tough fight when my elks are insane? It just... I can brute force my way through this, surely. No tactics needed. Yep, and I drew the weak Warren. Should be a very easy win. Give me this. And there we 
we go. And another one. Oh, and I can get down a third one if I want. Why not? Just get them right now. <laughs> sure. Yeah, the, that's kind of why I took the possum. It has good upsides. That it can be a free sacrifice. Like I said, it's a gek 70% of the time. Yeah, my elks beat his great whites to a pulp. So that's nice. Am I gonna try to go pack rat? Honestly, no, I like my current set. Especially since I still have the fish hook. That's gonna do me good for a solid minute. Yeah, go fish, whatever. You don't even kill my elks. Weak ass little bitches. Great white. Maybe not so great white. <laughs> Got him. Alright. <laughs> That's my board of elks. Thank you all for watching. Well, we'll see. I, the biggest thing now, the only way I lose is if my deck becomes not thin. I need a thick deck. Sorry, a thin deck. A thick deck gives me a chance to lose. So I can't let that happen. A uh, raven egg's quite good. That could be another thing that gains fecundity and it just becomes an instant win. Right, thin deck. Ooh. I decided I'm going to go to the right for the thin deck. Does it mean I intentionally lose the trial then? I think it does. Blood. Bones or power? What is most likely to lose me the trial? I am actually pretty decent in power, but I do have a few zero, zero purrs. But most of the rest are two purrs. Bones? I have two that cost five bones, so I have to dodge both of these. Or blood. Four blood. Blood might be reasonable. I have only two hits with blood. And I have four misses. I think I try to fail this trial. I don't want more crap in my deck. So here we go. Blood. Crap. Good. Yes. Very nice. Yeah. Don't give me that card. Let's get rid of a card now. And the card I'm going to get rid of is... Drum roll, please. Pack rat. Because honestly, my pack is fine. Listen, it's a good card. This technically makes my deck... Ah, does it make it worse? It still might get make it better. Thinning to win is awesome. Get rid of the pack rat is perfectly fine. I have a sacrificial altar up ahead, and I already had something I was going to sacrifice that was going to be the fecundity. So it's not like I'm losing my good sacrifice. And hey, I drew my good card. Let's place it over on the edge. Keep it safe here. Because yeah, I might as well put fecundity on Raven Egg just to have a second good card for consistency. Like, I might as well go all in since I've started it. You know, it, it doesn't make sense to stop fecundying now that I've started. Really, nothing is different. Ooh, that dire wolf, though. That's gonna hurt. Actually, it doesn't matter, because even though it kills, I still win. Very nice. Very nice. Probably could have played the alpha. But I didn't. All right. Hello, Trapper. <laughs> now, I am forced to take a crap pelt. I can't afford a golden pelt. I don't think that matters. Yeah, let's keep the rabbit pelt and just keep a thin deck relatively. You know, that card's never great to have added to my deck. It's fine. Oh, but there is another mycologist up ahead, of course. It would certainly be nice to know more of the map, but I, I get why they don't do it. Anyways, let's get this field mice out of here. Just put it on. Put down the raven egg. Just give myself another good card because now I have infinite value with ravens. Would love a campfire if I get the chance. Might not happen, though. My call just might not be too bad, though, because I can hunt for another... Actually, I don't know what I would want. Cat? So, well, this is a pretty good cat turn, isn't it? Even though this is only 0-2, it's still quite good with Fecundity Cat. This seems, yeah, awfully great. And I'll just fly right over him. My cat's infinite sacrifice. Maybe I'll still look for the Elk Fawn, but it doesn't matter. I'm not going to swap out a Raven for an Elk Fawn. 
I'm just gonna attack over the top. Let the dire wolf kill my raven, no big deal. Well, now I'll still dig through here, who knows. Now I'm about to win with the raven, so I guess I shouldn't really care too much. GG. It's just too fast, can't catch me. Well, I think the answer is mycologist. I could get a duplicate here. It's very possible. I think I'm going to hunt solely for duplicates. Didn't get it. And honestly, don't like those cards too much anyway. Also didn't get it. And I don't like these cards. I'm going to grab me a Bloodhound. And just accept my lack of duplicates. But I mean, there's another mycologist up ahead. And also a Sacrificial Altar. Yeah, sorry to disappoint. Yeah, they're all distinct. Let's see, what do I want the most? Definitely not Bloodhound. I have not played Alpha in forever. Corpse Magus is usually a free card. That seems like a good one to have, even if I don't decide to recombine. Okay, I'm getting a forced Mycologist no matter what, so I should probably do Alter Mycologist. Makes the most sense. And I drew the Elk Fawn. Would, would you look at that? It's a Christmas miracle. And, you know, I might as well go Weak Warren into Cat. Just to make that work out extra well. So, cat. And then I win. GG. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Nice. This disgusts me. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, Alter Mycologist is a good combo. Maybe I could get a duplicate here. Elk, bird, lizard. Let's take an elk. Maybe I'll get elk fawn. Nope, just got a regular elk. Which is significantly weaker than my Elk Fawn. Amazing. Alter time. Right, definitely getting rid of one of my two costers. And then, well, you know what? I'm actually going to put it on Corpse Maggots. Having that block anything my opponent attacks with seems awesome. I think this is actually a great sigil for it. It'll just be a great blocking, stalling unit. So the mycologist thing still works out. Yep, it's duplicate time. Shame I wasn't able to get another sigil on the other corpse maggot for a super sigil corpse maggots, but this is quite good too. All right, time for the prospector. I certainly have sustained to outlast the prospector. There is no denying it. And I got the elk fawn. Looks like it's elk fawn time. Get you here. And get another one down. That'll be all. Don't want the wolf to kill it, so happy to get out of its way. Taking three is better than dying to a wolf. You know what? I'll get another one down. Why not? Kill off the wolf. Don't have to worry about it later. And I'll even get the pack mule. Very nice. Man, you're too slow. <laughs> I've already, I've already won. There's nothing else for you to do. Of course, all these gold nuggets are going to be annoying. And now I gotta wait, but. I guess that'll be a first for today. I guess the way to play is not to get so many gold nuggets, but when do I care about that? I always get all the gold nuggets. All right, so what final event am I looking for? Probably a trader so I can get the golden pelt and crap pelt out of my deck. And getting a rare, rare card, certainly not bad. Between these, hate it. Sure, give me the goat. Here we go. All right, so I did get Trader. Yeah, let's take the Trader. It's interesting enough. Maybe we'll get a Magpie or something here. Didn't get it, that's fine. I'm happy to take another Possum. Certainly not a bad card. And between these, <laughs> I've never done a Child 13. It's basically another cat for me, but sometimes it gains more attack. So I'm gonna do it. It's technically in my opinion worse than mole man here because mole man gives me just that little extra edge of security but i've never used the child 13 before so why not take the opportunity for it all right they got the mole man i did not get 
a fast unit. Okay, so the amalgam means that I have to start with a blocking squirrel so I can get my corpse maggots down, and that's perfectly fine. Then I'll start digging through my deck for good cards. Hello? Got Weak Warren, excellent. Once I pull like this, then I go Possum into Weak Warren, just get you down into, well, Elk Fawn, of course. So he's about to do the Prospector thing. I think I should just wait for next turn before I do any Elk Fawn popping off. Because I'm only going to take one damage from his Mantis God. It doesn't sound too bad to me. So I'll slide ride. Rip. And I'm not too afraid of his extra stuff. I've got plenty going for me. Hopefully, anyway. I'm going to take a l another one damage, but nothing more. Elk Fawn and Elk Fawn. And I can get down a weak alpha next turn. Sounds good. Mantis God's doing me a favor. Clearing it all up. Okay, I think I'll want him to pull my weak alpha. Ouch. Or, I can have him pull a squirrel. So I'm going to play the weak alpha here so it doesn't get picked off by a Mantis God. Then, I'm going to place a squirrel here so the squirrel gets sucked. Let me just do this. I don't know why I'm so worried. For some reason, I'm just scared of, like, bad math. It's the most terrifying thing to math, we all know. But let's be real. If I make it past this phase, it's pretty much a guaranteed win. And so, I'm just letting it ride right now. And then this should get me through the phase quite easily. On to the much easier second phase. Like, this first phase of the Leshy fight is legit tricky challenge. Stumps are a little annoying, but... Honestly, not a problem to me. Yeah, I can keep that up all day. Okay, uh, not Daniel. Oh god, that hurts. Damn, Daniel, you hurt so bad. Now, let's wipe this out now. Right, I have enough to bring it to the top. I do. Yep, moon fight time should be pretty clutch. So that's the power of fecundity. I'm damn near signing this off because we all know how this is going to go. It's, uh... If I really had a choice in this, I would have chose not to do it, but it was not a great setup for me. <laughs> I was very much lacking in other good options. So, the fecundity happened. And, yeah, now I got visual confirmation that this is completely unfair. And you should not feel proud of yourself if you win with this because it's so easy. It's just too easy, man. Actually, you can be proud of yourself. Don't let me tell you what to do. You can feel whatever the hell you feel like. But that's my honest opinion. And like I said, this game's in beta mode. This game mode's in beta mode. It's easy to forget because of how well polished it is. Other games are in beta but suck a lot more. So, you know, this, this game can be appreciated. Let's see, do I get anything new at least? A tadpole. So it levels up and it's waterborne. Oh, a new starter deck. Very nice. I was hoping I'd get something new. We got a rabbit, the new unit, and a geck. Wait, so three free units, I think. That is awesome. It's a free deck. That would be cool. And a new challenge. Squirrel fish. Your squirrels have the waterborne sigil. Huh. Uh, joke's on you. That's not too bad. I have not used squirrels for blocking in a while. I do use it from time to time, so it might come and bite me in the ass, but that one's not too bad. Well, that concludes that one. I will see you guys all next time with challenge level 10. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and peace.